Hi, hello friends. Welcome back to my channel. Are you aware that even bachelor in education candidate can also apply for TET paper 1? So let us check it out the eligibility criteria for TET. So what is TET? It is teachers eligibility test and you all are aware of it. If you are an aspirant who is preparing for the competitive exams to appear for the teachers post the recruitment then you must kindly watch this to just to know the eligibility criteria for TET and who can apply for paper 1 and paper 2 throughout Karnataka. And as we move into the statement Kar TET that is it depends on the states throughout the country they call it by different names if it is Karnataka in short form they call it is Kar TET if it is of Tamil Nadu TN TET respectively. And not only the states conduct the eligibility test to recruit the teachers for primary schools, upper primary and high schools, even the central board also conducts the TET test that is central TET teachers eligibility test to recruit the teachers and if you are eligible even in state TET or central TET then you can appear for CET exams common entrance test that is for the recruitment of teachers from 1 to 5th standard, 6 to 8th standard and above for the classes. And let us check into out the eligibility criteria for paper 1 TET. So in paper 1 it is for the teachers who wish to teach for the classes 1st standard to 5th standard. So what are the eligibility criteria for that? The candidate must possess PU or plus 2 or intermediate we call it is PU you know pre-university or plus 2 also they call in CBS they call plus 1 plus 2 in various states they mention as plus 2 or intermediate it is or equivalent to PUC only with minimum 50 percent marks and if the candidate have completed DED diploma in education then you can appear for TET. This TET is a just eligibility test to write the CET exam that is recruitment exam right ok. Next eligibility criteria is even diploma in elementary education that is DED candidate or a candidate completed bachelor in education that is B.Ed with minimum 45 percent marks then you are eligible to apply for TET exam teachers eligibility test before if this condition was not there B.Ed candidates were not allowed to write paper 1 they were allowed only for the paper 2 but now from last year they have given permission even for the B.Ed candidate also can appear for paper 1 ok and as we look into the next eligibility criteria candidate in the final year DED or B.Ed bachelor in education also can apply for TET paper 1 ok so these are the main eligibility criteria for a candidate to appear for TET paper 1 ok fine as we move into the eligibility criteria for TET paper 2 that is for the aspirants who wish to teach for the classes from 6 to 8 standard that we call it as a GPSTR exam those who would like to appear for GPSTR exam that is CET again they need to be eligible in TET paper 2. So what are the eligibility criteria if the candidate need to appear for TET paper 2 the candidate must complete degree plus D.Ed that is diploma in education with the D.Ed or degree plus final D.Ed. D.Ed is of two years right so the candidate can be in final year D.Ed or degree with 50 percent marks the candidate can possess degree bachelor degree plus 50 percent marks in the bachelor degree plus B.Ed bachelor in education 
or the candidate can possess degree with 50% marks plus if they are admitted to B.Ed degree that is first year B.Ed degree they are eligible to apply for TET. Once you are selected for TET then you can apply for GPSTR exams. Next or the candidate need to appear form or who wish to appear for TET paper to must possess four year integrated course that is BA Ed or BSC Ed we call it that is BA B Ed together. Now they have changed this B Ed to two years right. So but integrated course will offer four years course it will be a four year integrated three year degree plus one year education that will be BSC Ed or BA Ed like that it is or the candidate who possess Bachelor of Elementary Education BL Ed that is four years course with 50 percent marks are eligible to appear for TET paper 2 or even if the candidate is in BL Ed final year he can also apply for TET paper 2 and from last year they have given permission even for engineering students that they can also appear for TET paper 2 because they were a lot of uh, post vacancies in government schools for maths post right so they decided to recruit the maths teachers because eligibility criteria was it was a 50 percentage must in the subject paper so many were not eligible last uh, in the last GPSCR exam right so they have decided to give permission for engineering candidate also to appear for TET paper 2 ok so these are the eligibility criteria to appear for TET paper 1 and paper 2 so we are expecting TET exams the notification to be released in month of July first week or June end so get ready for that exams if you are a fresh candidate just now you have completed a B8 and waiting for the notification to be released you can just have an idea in the following videos we will upload the question paper previous year TET question papers so let's wait for the official notification to be released related to TET exam in month of June or July kindly go through the notification whenever they release anything related to this exam you must thoroughly go through the notification what are the changes they brought in the notification and eligibility criteria it is hope that they are going to recruit the teachers and start up preparation for HSTR exams also and whatever the videos we make here mainly of maths and science concepts in our channel which will be useful for TET exams, central TET exams, GPSTR exams and also we try to take up few mental ability questions which will be helpful for the competitive exams ok. So, if you are not subscribed to our channel do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will get the notifications of all the videos we upload here which will be useful for your following exams. Thank you. Thank you for watching.